hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this text reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as Main Animation like this. Width I'm going to choose 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30, and duration we are going to choose 20 second long. And background color is white color, and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option, and simply hit on Titles section. Then I'm going to select my Ellipse tool over here, and Stroke Width I'm going to choose 35. And let's delete this field. We don't need that, so simply hit Delete and by holding shift i'm going to create one simple ellipse like this select this and let's try to increase the stroke width a little bit like that now select this press ctrl alt home to align their anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this then select this and hit ctrl d press s for scaling option and scale it like this somewhere around like this and then we are going to increase the size of this stroke like this then press s again and let's try to increase the size like this and again i'm going to increase the stroke like this okay if you want then adjust the scale also to fill out this then i'm going to select this second layer i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this third layer press s increase the scale and let's decrease the stroke width like this and try to adjust the scale somewhere around over here and increase the stroke like this okay and over here i'm going to select the second layer and we are going to choose red color so we can understand how much uh, stroke size we need so according to that i'm going to adjust the stroke side of this one then select this third layer hit ctrl d select fourth layer increase the size decrease the stroke width like this and with the help of the speaker i'm going to select this red color again and adjust the size it should touch that black spot then select this hit ctrl d select this fifth layer increase the size like this decrease the stroke width choose black color and adjust the size and it should touch this like this now after that hit ctrl d again select the sixth one increase the size like this choose red color again hit ctrl d select this increase the size and this time uh, i don't need to adjust the you know stroke width again i am going to only increase the size so hit ctrl d like this and now uh, you don't need to because we are not adjusting the stroke size uh, so we will not change the color the only thing we will take care about that that it should cover the entire composition and now simply select all of them and change the color of all of them to black over here and in case if there is some remaining make sure to see this in full then press v for selection tool now as you guys can see we can see this white line so i'll select this ellipse i'll press s and i'll uh, increase this size with the help of one unit then i'll select this one press s increase the size with one unit all over there similarly this one press s let's make this one zero one like this so as you guys can see our entire composition is covered with this black strokes so hit u now simply select all of them by hitting ctrl a in search option i'm going to type stroke st so it will automatically get the stroke and now create all the keyframes on stroke width of each and every one and then hit u and if you not see over there then type over there also okay so now we have stroke uh, width or uh, keyframe on each and every one so now let's go to around one second again select all of them by hitting ctrl a create another keyframe on stroke width of each and every one like this now still go to the start select all of them and make this value zero initially for 
each and every one so we will get something like this okay so if you see this animation you will get something like this now select all of this keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph go to the start by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and i'll move this handle over here so if you see this animation you will get something like this now i want their animation to be one by one so i'll go somewhere around five seconds i'll hold alt close bracket right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok like this so it will start from here and let's increase the size of this composition so i'll get this kind of animation now select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as circles and hit ok now select the circles and hit ctrl d to duplicate it go to the effect and presets panel and apply fill effect on it like this and choose white color okay and let's move this line over here so if you see this animation now you will get this kind of reveal animation let's move this to 20 frames like this okay so we will get something like this now uh, if you if you want you can go inside this you can select all of those keyframes you can hit ctrl d and you can bring them at the top over here like this and if you want then hit u over here let's go to the start and with the help of open bracket i'm going to bring them over here and if you want then you can choose white color for this stroke over here so and at this point which means at this second simply select all of those keyframes over here and change the stroke width to 5 like this okay so if you see over here we are getting something like this but now what i'm going to do uh, i'll simply go somewhere around over here i'll hold alt close bracket right click keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok like this again and let's increase this like this so you will get something like this and let's move this stuff over here okay so this is also one pattern you can follow but i am going to select this circle right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project select this circles and hit ctrl d so we will get this circle too double click to open this and for this one i am going to delete that we don't need that okay so if you see this animation now you will get something like this so let's move this one over here so if you see we will get first this and then this okay now we as you guys know that we are creating text reveal animation this is just a simple abstract right now we need to create text so first of all uh, i'm going to select this circle too and i'll bring this over here and this animation should start from here and let's go to the effect let's type find edge and double click to apply and invert this effect and if it's not working then uh, simply delete that you can select this press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 5 only just for our reference we need a simple background with low op opacity over here like this so if you see we are getting this kind of elegant looking animation and now we need text reveal over here so for that we need to type text so let's select our text tool and you can type whatever text you want i'm going to type motion graphics and let's choose poppins font we are not going to choose italic version choose regular version let's decrease the size or increase the size decrease increase adjust the distance between this alphabet select this graphics select this try to adjust the distance between this alphabets like this select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point in center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and we are going to choose let's try how this thinner version look or extra light maybe like this select this press s for scaling option and scale it like this now select this text hit ctrl d select the second layer and let's increase the scale and we are going to choose thinner version for this like this and let's delete this 
fill and we are going to choose stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose 0.1 like this okay so we have this uh, text layer over here but for this one i'm going to create one mask so select this rectangle and we are going to create mask for like this select this and adjust this over here invert this and go to the mask option and increase this mask feathers like this so we will get this kind of stuff and now we need to create reveal animation over there so i'm going to select this and let's move this over here like this and from this point i want this text should start to reveal so i'll select both of these layers i'll press ctrl shift c and i'm going to call it as text animation and hit ok like this select this circle to hit ctrl d and let's move this over here and p for opacity and increase the opacity move this circle over here and select this text animation and choose alpha mask like this so we'll get this kind of reveal and if you want then uh, if you see this now you will get this animation and then this if you want then you can move this uh, revealing this circle over here also then this reveal will start from this end so if you see we'll get first this and then we will get this kind of reveal then you can go to the text animation over here like this and if you see over here my animation should start from this point so i'll go over here i'll select this text i'll press s let's make initial scale 115 like this create one keyframe go to around seven second let's make this 135 so we will see this increase in size along with that i'm going to select this text press p for position initially let's move this over here create one keyframe go over here and let's move this from here like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation over here so after that press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this backward so now if you see this animation you will get this kind of revealing animation like this okay and then at seven second i'm going to hit n so now if you see this animation we will get this kind of elegant text reveal animation